G'day followers, so today we are going to be talking about grease and namely should you grease your rotary hammer. So some brands say you should and others don't mention it. So what should you do? Well to help out I've got the trusty old Hitachi, wrestled it back from the wife and I'm going to chuck in a couple of chisels and uh, let's take a look at what happens. So you can see it's not really moving. So what gives? Well basically when you're chiseling something you don't just hold the hammer floating, you actually hold it against the material and then hit it. And that's pretty much what rotary hammers do too. And I did a bit of chiseling earlier today with this so we can take a look at some high speed footage of that and see what's really going on. So when the, when the chisel point is pressed in the material, nothing really happens, there's not a whole lot of movement going on. Until the material yields. And when the material yields or breaks away then you really start to see some movement. Depending on what you're doing, the chisel can almost reciprocate with every blow. Now, it's not exactly a reciprocating saw, but there is a fair bit of movement going on there, depending on what you do. Plus, SDS chucks have a lot of, have a lot of room to move in there. Stuff tends to wiggle around. So yeah, I mean, if you've got movement, I reckon you should grease them. And how do you do that? Well, you get some rotary hammer grease. So this one came with my very first rotary hammer, Margaret, rest her soul, uh, back in oh, almost a decade ago. And I have still not used this whole thing up. And I, I'm a pretty big greaser. This one comes with some Bosch tools, but really it's pretty rare for a, for a rotary hammer to actually come with a set of grease anymore. Of course, it is best to use proper rotary hammer grease, but you know, if you don't have that or if you couldn't be bothered or whatever, I'm sure you'd be able to use uh, most other types of grease. You just got to watch out that the grease is going to be compatible with whatever material your chuck is made of, especially this rubber bumper at the end. And uh, it's always a good idea to just test a little patch for compatibility because some greases can dissolve rubber. And how much grease should you give it? Well, uh, how long is a piece of string? When I get a new rotary hammer, I'll usually give it a pump of this into the chuck. And when you install the bit, it just gets squished into there. And you'll see that's pretty gluggy. You, de you generally don't want to over grease uh, anything really, but in this case the grease will sort of heat up and it, it falls out pretty quick. So I don't think you need to worry about that too much. And then every five or ten days of use I'll give it maybe a half a pump of this guy. Just in there. Just a little bit like that. So you don't need to do very much at all. In fact look at some other, some older bits I've been using. You can see there Pretty lightly greased, you know, you don't need to dollop it all on there too much. And just as important as keeping it lubricated is keeping it clean too. So if your drill bits end up getting dirty like that on the, on the shank there, don't just cram them in, you know, do clean them off first. In fact, some brands will even give you a little cloth for doing just that. Because if you get all dirt and crap inside there, you'll end up abrading the uh, parts of the tool holder away. And you'll need to pull it out and replace it. So this one is actually from, uh, from an old drill I've been restoring. You notice these little tabs inside here that grab the drill bit. They are all uh, worn down. And you don't want that happening because then you've got to pull it apart and replace all this stuff on the inside to get the tool holder. So uh, yeah, best to keep these clean too. And this little bumper on the end of your chuck here, that also functions as a dust cover too. See how tight that fits? That stops all the drill dust from getting in there and wearing down all the gizzards inside your, uh, your chuck there. So anyway guys, hope that helped. Uh, you know, like, subscribe, all of that, and uh, I'm going to leave you with some gratuitous slow-mo. Scratches later.